there, Angie Resendez here with Remax River City and the Edmonton Property Shop. And I am bringing you November 2017's market stats. So right now I'm on Candy Cane Lane. So this is just east of 149th Street uh, from about Stony Plain Road south. So right now I am on 98th. So, you know, throughout the holiday season, Candy Cane Lane actually raises money for the Empton Food Bank because obviously there's still a lot of people out there needing your donations and you know these can be seniors, young families, singles so if you are coming out here to, to have a peek at the decorations and the lights do bring a non-perishable food item with you. So uh, back to the stats now. So you know year over year you know the market has been busy overall so really we saw increases in the condo market and also the single family residential market. So single family homes were up uh, just shy of 10% year over year and the condo market was actually 18.3% busier than last year. So that's good news. Month over month, obviously we did see a little bit of a slump, but you know, overall, you know, there are still a lot of purchases and sales being made right now in our marketplace. You know, I think this is being spurred obviously by the mortgage changes that are that are coming up January 1. Obviously, people want to get in with that lower interest rate and, you know, that way they can have a little bit more flexibility and don't necessarily have to pay that, that premium. So, uh, average prices for single-family homes was at $441,000. Uh, $526,000, that was an increase of just over 2%. And with the condo market, it is up slightly. We are looking at duplexes and row houses sitting at uh, just over the three fifty-eight dollars mark. And condominiums down right around the 4% mark, sitting at about 232000 So days on market, of course, in the winter months always do creep up. Right now we're sitting at about 59 days on market. Uh, the condo market, of, of course, if you're looking that exclusively, is you know roughly about 20 days higher than that. Just because we have a lot of builder inventory and, you know, once January, February starts rolling around, we're going to see that slowly increase and then, you know, kind of get absorbed as people end up making their spring purchases. But, you know, do keep in mind, you know, obviously if you're a seller looking to sell, you know, Christmas is a great time to have your property on the market for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, most people are off. They're taking their Christmas holidays and if they're serious about making a purchase, they are doing that on their time off. They're getting extended family potentially to come in and view your property and it's going to be looking it's going to be looking amazing. Obviously, lights are on, Christmas tree is up. So, don't discount the fact that, you know, you do have, you know, a certain segment of the market, you know, being exposed to the properties both online and in person. So, for more information about these stats or to have your personalized market evaluation, please do contact us at the number below. We'll be happy to help. And Merry Christmas.